Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new version of Padlet that was released in the early part of last week. Now, the functions of Padlet are all the same, just the layout of the interface is a bit different. So let's take a look and see how it works now. We'll still log in the same way that we always have. You can log in with your Google account, Facebook, or you can sign up uh, using another type of email address. Here, I'm going to use my Google account. And this aspect is still the same. We'll still say create a new Padlet. But this next part is where things have changed in Padlet just a bit. You can see now uh, you'll have a default title installed for you by Padlet. Let's go ahead and change that. Let's call this uh, Reflections on today's lesson. And I'll put a little description for my students and say, please share something that you learned today. Now we still have the option to change the layout from freeform to grid to stream. Uh, stream tends to be my preferred option. Now we can choose different backgrounds. You can also go in and upload your own background. And let's say I want to upload a picture from my computer. I can now install that as my background. Maybe I want to put this picture here of some bison as my background. Now that's a relatively small picture that I'm uploading, so it may tile automatically or it may expand. There it is. It's expanded uh, to go full screen. So I've changed my wallpaper. Now they do offer themes available for sale if you uh, upgrade to a premium plan, but I've never had a, a need to use a premium plan. And of course you can add an icon to your wall. Maybe I want to add that. Or again, I can upload my own. Let's upload a picture here. And perhaps I'll use a picture of one of my dogs as the icon. And so that's my new icon. Now, the next part of my Padlet wall is our privacy settings. And by default, your wall will be secret, which means that uh, anyone who has the link for it will be able to write on it. You can go in and change that and say moderate, or anyone with a link can read. I'll leave it back to can write. You can also make it password protected. And so you'd have to put in a password to access the wall. All right, switch back public or to be completely private. Now if you make it private, uh, people will have to log in using a Padlet account. So I tend to stick with the secret and I'll say can write and then when we're done with the activity I'll switch it to can read only. And down here we have the option to moderate our posts before they go live. And so now we're all set and if you want to write on the wall Writing on the wall is still the same as it was before. You can double click or you can use the plus symbol down here and write on the wall and say, put in my name. And today I learned how to use Padlet. We can still add all kinds of files to display. You can upload a picture. You can link to any document or website. Uh, you don't want to put in a link to a website. And there we go. We now have a, a link there. Now, if you don't want the preview, you can click and get rid of it. Now, back up here in our options to modify, our options to modify. If you decide later you want to change things out, you can. If your sharing settings are there, and if you want to share this quickly with your students, you can print out a QR code, and it will open automatically for them when they scan it. Uh, it will open either on the Android app or the free iPad app for Padlet. You can send a link to the wall. You can embed it into your blog or wiki space if you want to. And of course you can tweet it, Facebook it, email it. And then down here, if you want to grab it as an image or as a PDF to reference offline, 
can do that as well. And if I want to save this as a PDF, that will open and it will display all the notes. Now it won't display the multimedia elements, it'll just display the notes that are written. We can close that out. Now if you want to reuse this, you can go ahead and clone it and copy everything or copy it without the post. Copy without the post is a nice option if you want to use the same type of uh, setup over and over again. You know, maybe every week you're going to ask your students on Friday to post something that they've learned and you don't necessarily want to copy everything, you just want to copy the framework uh, of that activity. And so I'm now done with my Padlet and to close it out I'm just going to go back into the share settings and leave it as secret but I'm going to say you can now only read it. So that's how the new version of Padlet works. As you can see, the key functions are all the same. Our settings are now in the upper right hand corner and they're just a slight, slightly different layout. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com.